Report. Now, on this week's episode, I have the distinct pleasure of welcoming back Six Year Silence. But the last time they was on here, they were, were not called Six Year Silence. They were still called a band formerly known as. <laughs> right? The last time you was on here, you were still called formerly known as. So what I want to know is, what forced the change in the name and the rebrand? Ian, don't point me out. So... Basically, it was due to a lot of uh, legal reasons. Uh, effectively, there was another band uh, from the 70s called Formerly Known As. Formerly known as mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> they, they decided to, well, not reform, but they were kind of 
boot and boot again. Um, no, right. And then we were getting offered gigs as the band formerly known as. Yeah. And, uh, and then we were, it was just a bit of one of these things we were like, ah, right. <clears throat> that we kind of knew that there was also a lot of things, festivals and albums and stuff like that. And so for like, uh, if you want to go for like a market perspective, yeah, yeah, people it was, be like, it was quite hard to find us online and amongst everything else. Yeah. So we can always knew that it, it might crop up, but the decision was made because obviously it could have been totally taken out of hands, which it basically yeah. was with the other band, um, especially when we started getting off of gigs, with people thinking we were them. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, Sex sorry, Pistols sorry. tribute bands phoning us up, oh, can you play this one? No. no. <laughs> <Can't>. Fucked. <laughs> that's, that's not who we are. <laughs> Uh, now another noticeable change, other than the name, is the lineup change with Ian taking over guitar duties. I mean, Ian taking over drum duties. Sorry, from, from guitar, guitar from, there. from Fitzy, and Stevie and Big Dave coming in on guitar. Now, how has the change been? And there was was there much of a change in dynamic? Awful. <laughs> Bang it all the. Bang it all the. Um, no, it's been great actually. Uh, I, personally, like. I mean, I really enjoyed playing the guitar in the band. That's yeah. what, I, what I started with. It was that was the whole reason I started jamming and stuff with the guys. Um, but a friend that doesn't know it was originally a drummer and played the drums since I was like eleven. Yeah. Um, and you know, when the, when we kind of were losing drummers, almost left, right, and centre, um, I just sat literally in KFC with Johnny one day, and I was like, oh, yeah, I just need to I'd be as well playing the drums again, like it's. It's easier to find guitarists for like ten a penny. <laughs> <laughs> so how long was you away from the drums? Uh, five years, man. Yeah. Aye, uh, five yeah. years. So I had to sell all my gear, uh, and, and then, then uh, and rebuy all the all the drum stuff again. Aye, so I had to sell oh. all my guitars and apart from one, still got my, my one, my one baby. But um, I had to sell the rest of it and that the white one. Uh, aye, and buy the rest, uh, buy all my drum stuff and start all over again. Um, aye, and then Stevie and Dave joined and it's. It's been great, it's been like, you know, a good laugh and the chemistry's brilliant man, I'm just getting on with it. Awesome, awesome. Now, I've got a question here for Steve and Dave, but Dave's not here so I'm just directing it to you. Dave's been moving his car for the last two years. Right. <laughs> now, you and Dave are both known on the, on the Glasgow scene from your previous bands respectively. Attica Rage and Dark Mr. Vine. Now, how does it feel stepping into this band Along with three members from formerly known as to create is what <laughs> what is known as essentially a supergroup. I quite much. There's quite a few um, previous Super incarnations group. of various bands and and here. No, it was it was easy because I wasn't just joining a band of strangers that advertised for a guitarist. Like I've yeah. worked with Johnny and Gary. I've jammed with Johnny and Gary and Ian and I. We were in a band before. Uh, mm -hmm. Jealous lover. We were called. Just cheesy covers. We never even got to gig. We were too. Was it a, be a bedroom band? Was it? Pretty much, man. I had never really got off the ground, but uh, that's not my first band. <laughs> yeah, it was a bedroom band just jamming in the bedroom. <laughs> we we could have could have done something special. Do you remember we did that cover, that one cover of Pure Shows? Oh, there we go. And some And how how has the um, the pressure been on you coming in? To learn like all the back catalogue of songs. Well, it was quite like fortunate because like I joined just as like the the lockdowns were tailing off, but there was still no live gigs. There was no festival. There was nothing happening. Yeah. So there was no deadline like you must learn this set by this time. We just kind of like jammed like uh, the team would record this, the riffs and send me them and be like, yeah. this is how that song goes. And Gary done cooking videos as well. And when we started being able to meet in a studio. We yeah. had the bare bones of the song, so we could just like pick two or three learnings for next week and walk the way through the album. Awesome, awesome. Nearly got it all done. Uh, how long did it take you to learn the back catalogue? Um, a few months. I joined in like March, April-ish. Right. Um, I don't know if it took you that long. The first gig was the end of August. Aye, it was literally a few weeks. weeks. Yeah, I just get it. He's done the parts learned really quickly, but then we just obviously wanted to go out the final detail oh, and stuff. Yeah, and the, 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 the the and playing, let, you know, get used to playing together. Hey! hey, 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 hey. It's a big man. Just in time. Have we interviewed some? You're just in time for your oh, question. Pretty much. I've just done me. Alright, alright. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll ask the same question to Dave, right? This one is for both of you. 
right? You're both well known on the scene from your previous respective bands, Magic of Rage and Darkest <laughs> Divine. How does it feel stepping into another band, formerly known as, and forming essentially a super group? <laughs> yeah, so what group do you do? What? Oh, are you working? That's you fantastic, I don't know. I don't know. Is it no, a I mean, that, that's how I've used it. I mean, it's, I'm, not, I'm not trying to blow smoke up your asses right here, but you're all, all well respected bands within the local scene, and then you've come together to form Six Year Silence. Now, it is basically a super group on the local scene in my eyes. Pretty much. Whether you see it that way or not, it's... That's, that's a sexy action. <laughs> I'm digging it. Right, now, I followed your band updates during the pandemic, but how stressful was the situation with the rebrand happening during the pandemic, and did you manage to get much done? Eh, uh, I don't know, mate. Who released an album? Ah, uh, you know. I'd kind of... I'd already joined the band when the name changed but just not changed officially aye, aye. so I didn't really have any part in the name change I suppose Steve was the same luckily you know? for news man try to get four or five people to pick a new name for a band is not the easiest thing in the world to yeah, yeah, fuck um, off exactly <laughs> 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 um, I say it was at the time it was zoom call after zoom, zoom call, call after zoom call it yeah. was a uh, and then we had to eventually whittle it down to like a short list that was what we'll do to another short list and then it, it was just some of the names are hilarious um that we that we went oh, through. Come on, give me some of them then. Oh I can't read them. <laughs> 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 but uh, I've got them written down somewhere but I it was um it wasn't the easiest thing because it's it's the same way anything when you date a band it's five or four or five creative people all basically on the same path but yeah. with slightly different ideas so I uh, it was to be fair six year sales did they start six year silence? It was three year silence. Three year silence. It was three year silence originally. Um, but that was pure shit. Aye. So. <laughs> three year silence. Uh, it doesn't have the same ring. No, no, no it doesn't. Aye. Three year silence. Also, it doesn't go as well into six pack silence. You know? No. I think it's a three pack. <laughs> now, during the pandemic, you've done a lockdown cover of getting away with murder. You fuck something. Uh, uh, I thought that was a fucking good cover. What, what made you choose that song? You didn't get a good job. I don't think it was. Can you? I don't know. Do we play a tune each? I'm sure, because we were going to do a Godsmack cover or not. We did do a Godsmack cover and just didn't do a CD of the league. It didn't, I didn't get out. It's still floating in the ether somewhere. I think Gary had been listening, I'm sure he had been listening to that tune and just started playing it in the studio and was like, this would be a cool tune to play. And pretty much all part of the fans anyway, so we were like, alright, cool, let's do it. Something fun to do. And as you know, every day was, you know, trying to do. Stuff like where they could, like where he could yeah. gig, um, and we were obviously sitting on the album, and you know we didn't want to put the album out in the middle of a pandemic when we couldn't yeah. play it or anything yeah. like that either. So couldn't be performing it for sure, could you? Yeah. Aye, but so, aye, it was good. It was a good tune. Now, after all was announced, um, band-wise, your first gig announcement was for Judgment Day Two. Now, you guys had like the event. How do you feel the gig went since it was your first time performing as Six Year Silence? I can't remember much yet, I was absolutely pissed as a fart. <laughs> I thought it was good man, it was, I enjoyed it, it was good to finally get on the stage together. Um, yeah. Consider was there any rust anywhere? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say so, no, I think we, we all enjoyed it and um, obviously it's the first time we've all played live together so especially for these four up the front, you know, there was already a kind of dynamic when it was like me on guitar and then obviously Gareth was originally in the band and it's you, you still have to suss each other out, like where you're going to be, what you do yeah. on stage, who moves, who doesn't, and like just naturally. So I, th I suppose it then it's one of the ones where you try to get used to each other that way because playing in a studio is totally different, yeah. and rehearsing is totally different. Um, it's weird being, <laughs> it's weird being in this band and not being the only one with long hair. <laughs> <laughs> because since this band was together. Since we started, I was the only one with long hair. You're the only boy. And then during that gig, obviously, these two pull the ponytails out, you know what I mean? <laughs> you bald the locks the free hairs here, and Gareth off, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'd like to chat about your album, King to a Clown. This is a, a 10 song album, 
filled with powerful tracks and I feel you captured your live sound perfectly on this. Like the first single you released as Six Year Silence was King to a Clown. What is that song about? And it was filmed over two days, weren't it, the video? Yeah, I, the, the, the song, um, we filmed it in two different locations. So um, we literally, we went to a bar that because of the pandemic was shut down at the time, a bar in Paisley. And um, right. it was a friend of ours who let us in. So I actually thought that that section of the, the video was filmed in the cat house. No, yeah. no. What was the bar called again? Is that Paisley? Hashtag bar. Hashtag bar. Hashtag bar. That's what it's called now. So it was filming so that for a long time. <laughs> but it was like, it was absolutely scorching hot and all. We were all like absolutely sweating because the bar was just roasting. Yeah. Um, even though there was like nobody in it. And uh, we filmed the whole kind of, all the sequences in there. And then we met up a few days later, about a week later or something like that. And it was in a, an old uh, seminary. St. Peter's Seminary in uh, Caldras. It's like an old no. abandoned. Uh, school for priests from the 70s, for like years ago, and um, it's all derelict now. And you know, we get in there and basically filmed in there. Um, it was really good to film the rest of it in there, so really enjoyed it, man. And it was great working with Goggy that filmed it for us and all. So that was good. Um, what, what's the story within the video? I'll let you take that one. Because it seems to be that you're, you're dealing with some sort of addiction or something and bashing up shit. So what's the story within the video? I honestly can't remember. <laughs> Johnny getting smashed and I just remember I've been, been high, just doing a fucking star in that bar. Getting pushed and getting smashed that the and then uh, Sledge. Tony speak to me. Tony speak to me. That's right. You cheeky you, bitch. Uh, <laughs> tells you, these bastards were the reason for her speaking to me. You know what I mean? Can't really call it cheeky if you talk to her in the end. She speak to me, I get high. Get drowsy, fell asleep, and these bastards fucking hooded me up, stuck me in the back of a van, battered my cunt in, and aye, I woke up with a, a hammer next to a, a telly saying up, roll on it. Uh, it was me. See, that, 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 was a, that was a nice touch. I really enjoyed that having the formerly known as sign on the TV. Oh shit, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to be a kind of transition, wasn't it? Like, for, uh, you know, because when we when we changed from, from that, and we didn't want to just. You know, come out with a generic like video on Facebook going, oh, just like no, like we've we've changed our name, blah blah blah. Here we wanted to come out and be right. We the, we've not just changed our name. You know, we're a lot more professional. We're a lot more serious about it, and we're, we're really really behind us. And we come out with like, a bang. So we wanted the video to sort of say that. Yeah, so, that was like me smashing the telly. Was like, I, that was like the end of the era type of thing. Yeah, so I, I picked up on that bit. Like, I thought uh, I thought that was well done. And then we just thought it'd be funny to try and drag John into a black panel van. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. So, uh, how many singles are you planning on releasing off of this album? Can tell you. No, you can, mate. <laughs> yeah, you really can. That's the point of the interview, boy. <laughs> We're actually going to be releasing. We're actually going to be recording new stuff. No. So uh, I guess I just want to plan on asking later on. And now, one of my favourite tracks off of the album is "Worlds Collide." Do you have any particular favourite tracks to play? I desire is mine. We actually covered this. Uh, where were we going in from this? I will do a wee. We done a wee uh, thing on uh, stories on Instagram and. Uh, we were talking about that. Somebody asked what our favourite thing is was to, to play live, our favourite tunes, and mine was I Desire, to be fair, quite, quite like that one too. Everybody, everybody else's was different. What was it? What was it? I really like Hypocrite. I, I, like playing live, I really, really enjoy playing Hypocrite. I um, just really enjoy the sort of the groove of it and, and playing all It's just a really fun song to play. I would probably have said Hypocrite or Worlds Collide. Until we brought Crash and Burn into the set and do our sketch. I'm, I'm, I'm torn and between that and Crash and Burn. So was called yeah. Crash and Burn. Was it songs three and four in it, or is it four and five? Fuck me, you're asking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 sure, I'm sure it's track listing three and four for Crash and Burn. Is the first one? Crash and Burn is the first one. Right? Yeah, I thought that was something else. I thought it was a different song. Might have been the first one. On the album, uh, what was played was three. Was your Crash and Burn is four? Yes. Yeah. Nice. So yeah, I know I know your album better than you do. That's right. What, my enemy's the first song you sing? Oh, my enemy's the first song you sing. My enemy's the first song you sing. Could be. I'm sure it is, I. 
You know me. I'm like a shuffle man. Now, how much of the album was written before the rebrand? All of it. Aye. Uh, yeah, I yeah, well, so yeah. gonna say when I mean, to be fair, it was actually written and recorded before we renamed right. the band. Now, you've played a few gigs now at Six Years Six Year Silence. Has there been any gig that stick in your mind for any particular reason? It doesn't have to be massive crowds, it could just be a rowdy crowd or somebody shitting themselves somewhere, you know? Anything that sticks in your mind? The Cat House. Uh, yeah. We gig in the Cat House. Headline show. There's a wee bit at the end. I can't get a claim. Can't remember, but it is new. But the music stopped, and I used a singer just to be able to make it. But everybody sung back to us. That was fucking epic. About I think it. I actually turned around Ian and like. Honestly, I bet you had goosebumps, didn't you? At that point, you know, hair oh, standing on end. Here's Liam. Look. Hi Liam! Hi Liam! Hi Liam! Hi, Liam. Hi, Liam. Hi, Liam. <laughs> You've had your moment. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, back in November, you posted on your Facebook page that you went away to a cottage to bond and write. Is there a follow-up EP or album in the works? Da 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 da. We actually just covered that. Yeah, right, actually, yeah, well, that was my next question. We are definitely already writing some stuff as you see yeah. the, the cottage and stuff. So yeah, we will be recording stuff very very shortly. And is we'll, there an estimated time of arrival? Let's say. Shortly. <laughs> <laughs> well, that narrows it down. I'm sure we see that many albums. Can you go to it four years later? No, no. Six played, years later. <laughs> we actually played one of the new songs up in Inverness last week. Did they have an echo down? Yeah. Everybody who was in Inverness got a wee fucking sneak peek at the new shit. Are right. we going to be here in any other night? No. No. Definitely. Wankers. Um, now, what gigs have you got booked for the rest of the year, and are there any plans for more videos? We have a, quiet, huh? No, we have a week in November, we will end the park tribute man. That's right, uh, and that's starting off, uh, is that the uh, K? No, it's starting in Stoke. Stoke. Is it starting in Stoke? Yep. Uh, we'll we'll start in Stoke. Stoke, yeah, we'll start in Stoke. Stoke, then Newcastle, Sheffield. Newcastle and Sheffield. Ah, there's a couple of wee gigs coming up. Definitely a couple of wee gigs. Bannerman's as well. The Nile yeah. Bannerman's. Yeah. Now we gig inside us are Bannerman's show coming up soon. Who are you playing with the Bannerman's? Wildfire. Well, they're good for that. I like them. Now, have you got any new merchandise? This is the merch drop bit. Any new merch that you want to tell anybody about when you're yeah. back or anything? Well, to be fair, I don't know if you've seen the... I don't know if you've seen the... The Wolf one we got. Wolfie make Wolf face. That's Wolfie fucking obviously Wolfie Dave's. No, I've not seen that one. Dave, we, we go by like Eddie, it's a fucking wheel free. And we put up Dave, we should be called this. Thanks, Dave. Wheel free make wheel face, so it's called wheel free. Right. Fucking right. Wolfie. See, I think during the editing suite, at this part, we can have a little corner. Like, <laughs> right, the picture of. Was it Wolfie McWolf face? Yeah, fucking Wolfie McWolf face. Wolfie McWolf face. So you're going to have to send that across to Will. <laughs> um, thank you for taking time out to speak to me, lads. It's, it's no, been a ple pleasure. pleasure as we always. fucking missed you. We oh, missed you. Oh, I missed you as an old big man. <laughs> oh, I should have been at your last gig, but what can I say? Kidneys. Kidneys are shark. Who you know, comes first, man? Who uh, was there? Who was there? Who was there? The all important man behind the camera. Oh, oh, thank, thank you, dude. Thank you. <laughs> but what can I say? Apart from, I've been Esteban, this has been Six Years in Silence, and this has been the Doomsday Report. Keep it metal. Fucking metal! <laughs>